Hi, my name is Justin Conway. Today I'm going to talk about how to splice in Photoshop. Um, this is a useful tool, uh, particularly when creating web pages where you want to have different bits of the picture show up in different locations. Um, typically, the picture is just sliced into uh, different parts, but they fit together in a web page. And I'll show you how to perform this, uh, this function. So uh, first, open up your file in Photoshop. And then you're going to click the Slice tool on, on the uh, toolbar. Um, make sure you're selecting the Slice tool itself and not the Slice Select tool. Um, so then when you're in here, it's just very simply uh, deciding what sections that you want to be sliced out and clicking and dragging over it. So if we want to adjust this, um, this uh, text here to be a part of the web page where uh, people would click because they see that, that text and maybe you think people would like to click there. So that's going to be its own image with its own hotspot or something, you know, its own clickable region. Um, you're going to select all around it. And as you can see, it just now created all these different slices. So um, the first picture is going to be this uh, part where it says 01 up here, this large rectangle going across the top. The second will be the left-hand uh, border. Um, third is our actual picture. Photoshop just figures this all out for you because it wants every space of the picture to be saved into the slices. So now once you've figured out all the slicing, um, and by the way you can adjust these however you'd like just by clicking on the lines and moving them. You can also add new slices if you'd like to. And uh, when you're ready you go to File, Save for Web and Devices. And this is actually going to export all of these selected uh, box regions um, to whatever file type you'd like. Typically for um, graphics on the web, you want to use a, a GIF file. So we'll select that. And that's it. Click Save. You, and you'll have the opportunity to uh, create a new file if you'd like. I think that's usually the best way to do it because you're going to have a, a big um, a big you know, group of files if you made a lot of slices. So we'll call this a uh, new slice and create. And now all of our slices will be right into that file. If we open it up here, new slice, you can see that in the images folder, we have all of the uh, GIFs and actually created some JPEGs. We have to adjust that. But um, it created all of the separate images that you can then import into your web page and uh, use accordingly. Um, so that's how to use the Slice tool in Adobe Photoshop. My name is Justin Conway. Thanks.